But Ian, this was our monthly intermediate advanced class. Yes. Uh, tonight we did Tandem Charleston crazy fancy, fancy variation stuff. So we um, started off... With an entry. With an entry, which is an 8-beat entry. So, so different from your classic 10-beat S-turn. This is the, the, the standard one that most people know is. Shum, ba, ba, do, bi, da, bi, da, boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, ba, ha. Ha, but we're not doing that one. So that's so the one that is most common. We did the sort of reverse block turn. Um, so we've got our boom, ba, ba, bi da, bi da, boom, ha, do, ba da, bi da, ha, ha, do, ba da, bi da. So ba. let's show you that with counts. Yeah. Looks so like this. It goes rock, one, step, two, three, kick, four, kick, five, six, catch, seven, eight, one. Kick. So the, the key points there is leads just do their footwork on the spot. Mm -hmm. Leads also catch here at about four five. Yeah. And they use five as the springboard point to sort of go around, catching the follows of a hand mm -hmm. and matching up here as well, ready for One. tandem. Um, so we talked a little bit about um, the importance of these hands. So as a follow, I can't see what's going on. So I'm really relying on my lead to lead this count one. So the left hand comes forward as the left foot goes back. That might be an over-exaggeration of what I was doing there. But the idea is that when I've come out of this turn, boom, one, two, three, ha, four, boom, five, six, ba, seven, da, eight, boom. one. Ba. I really lean into it because I want my follow to know this is, hey, we're doing tandem yeah, now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so from there, we did a basic turn yes. to start off with. So your classic sort of um, outside turn, boom, three, ba, four, ba, five, six, seven, eight, wind one, it up, two, three, turn, four, five, kick, six, seven, eight, do, one, two. So, so the follows is just a standard footwork, which is... We turn this direction here. The wind oops, up is sorry. a bit more. <laughs> sorry. The wind up is a bit more, then we bring it around. Yep. And you've got to maintain that connection over the top. So. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. So it's a double kick for the follows on the way through. Yeah, a couple of uh, interesting things that was also all about that, um, and that is I maintain this, I would rather my follows' hands be more out mm -hmm. in front a little bit rather than behind them. That doesn't yeah. feel comfortable. Um, that's a bit easier. And then you get this nice sort of lent-in shape yep. that's happening. And then as a follow, I'm pushing my hands very slightly out to maintain a nice connection with my lead. Yep, and uh, likewise as well, I'm not pushing in, I'm not lifting up, I'm not pushing yeah. down, and I'm surely not putting the thumb down on no. top of the wrist. No I'm need. and it just, just connection there. It's just a safety belt. It's just like, hey, I'm here. It's presence. Yeah. You know. All right. Cool. So then we did the reverse tandem. Yes. So this is leads going in front. Uh, moving into the follows position. So we've got a boom. One, two, three, ha, four, five, boom. six, so seven, eight. So same turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boom. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, posture and position changes ever so slightly because leads will tend to be a little bit taller, so we have to kind of match and be careful not to step on our follows or kick, mm -hmm. and we're used to being behind, so we're usually used to having a bit more layout. Um, also, the hands will change in that position as well, so suddenly I'll still have my hands on top in that sense, but again, it's more just keeping this nice maintainable shape. Yep. So the reason that I as a follow know that we're doing this reverse tandem and not just a regular turn is Andy from here brings the hand up and he drops the hand down. So at this point, I can't keep turning because my hand is going to hit him. So yep. that stops the turn. And then here, I'm also asking for this hand connection here so we can go boom, ha, doom, bida. Now to get out of it, we'll turn around this way so you can <laughs> see from this angle, boom, but I start with a block turn on one, two, block, round. And you can either go straight through into a six beat pass by um, or you can use that to get back into tandem from here. Block, turn, through, rock, step, round, and ha, doom. Ba, bi, ba, ba, da. And it's all about the amount of energy that leads are pushing in those turns mm. that tells a follow, hey, this is either going to be a full-on rocketing past stretchy big turn or actually, no, it's nice and gentle. We're just going to go into tandem. Yep. Um, one final thing for the follows. From this block turn, Andy's actually rock-stepping me onto my regular foot, which is my right foot. Tandem is normally my left foot. But I can feel it because Andy's taking this hand around in quite a rotational rock step. I'm opening up my shoulders here. Which invites here. me to switch feet. But if you don't get it and you don't switch feet, follows, you can just sort of fudge this. 
The important thing is to go around, whoops, sorry, around, block, and then turn. So you can do a run run is what I normally do, but if you're a little off count, just turn it into something cool. <laughs> Have fun, play nice, and uh, yeah, we'll see you, see you next, next week. week.